Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little comparison here between the G2 Mini versus the Xperia Z1 Compact. Uh, there is a big difference between these, first of all. Uh, I mean, the Z1 Compact is higher and high-end, but it's a compact device of the Xperia Z1. But I still wanted to do this comparison uh, because some people might think that the Xperia Z1 Compact is super mid-range, but it's pretty high in price, actually. It's, it's pretty high uh, because it's a compact version. And I picked it up a while and uh, had it, and it's a pretty cool device actually and it looks pretty nice as well uh, so um, yeah let's uh, compare it here uh, against the uh, G2 mini uh, with which is like a mini LG G2 I never picked up the original G2 because I, I just didn't uh, it was just too many other devices there to to keep track of so let's move down so first of all you get the 720p display here on the uh, Z1 Compact versus the 540x960 uh, lower resolution screen here on the G2 Mini, but the G2 Mini still a little bigger, 4.7 inches, which is actually not making it feel super much like a mini device. A lot of the issues one Mini, S4 Mini, all of them last year was called uh, mini devices. They were 4.3 inches. Uh, maybe this year all the mini devices will be 4.7 inches in sizes and this will be maybe in, in, in increase like that and mini devices are gonna become super huge <laughs> maybe one day. The cool thing with C1 Compact is the better display it doesn't have the poor viewing angles display that the Xperia Z and the Xperia Z1 had uh, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Uh, 16 gigabytes here on the Z1 Compact versus only 8 gigabytes on the G2 Mini. That's gonna be a big one, for, I think, for many people. This is also another big one. 20 megapixel camera versus an 8 megapixel camera. I mean, the, the camera on the G or on the Z1 Compact is sick. It is crazy. Uh, if we move down here, also check out some other things. Of course, both will get the latest version of Android from, from to KitKat. Uh, and then we do have some other interesting stuff here, like you do get Snapdragon 800 on the Z1 Compact versus only Snapdragon 400 here. Uh, and then we do get quad quad 2, 2 gigahertz only versus quad quad 1, 2 gigahertz A7. Uh, big difference. Uh, on the GPU side, both actually can do very well. I mean, the G2 Mini shouldn't be that horrible because it has the Adreno 3 and 5 GPU versus the Adreno 330 GPU and then the Adreno 3 and 5 GPU is actually performing very very good um, as far as I can recall. Maybe not as good as 2014 games uh, when they, they're going to come out here for, for phones. Uh, and then we do have the battery area here which is actually pretty similar. You actually get a bigger battery here on the G2 Mini. Uh, just because probably because they can stuff it in because it has a 4.7 inch display instead of a 4.3 inch display so they have a 440 milliamp battery versus 2500 i mean it's um it's really interesting but then again i think there's going to be some price difference here uh and definitely this one will feel a little bit more like plastic versus um this one uh, that definitely will feel like a mini variant here of a of the of the sony Xperia z1 uh so yeah is a quick little look here. Hopefully you did enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, peace out.